Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm really excited. We have a couple really big updates, and as far as I'm concerned, these are probably the most significant updates we've done in a year and a half. But they're not going to sound like it, uh, unless you guys use Photoshop a lot or are very familiar with the software. So let me show you what's different. Uh, about a month ago, we introduced some mods, and the mods allowed you to basically do what we had wanted to do originally a long time ago which was just everything would work as expected. The control keys, the shift keys, the alt keys, the space bar, they would all uh, pan and zoom and line and do all the different things that we're used to them doing. Well, it didn't actually work that way because of a couple different things with touch interaction and uh, Windows anniversary update fixed a couple different things which we are thrilled about. And there's a couple different interactions and things that are enabled now that weren't before, and we made some big changes to the software. Uh, a couple things to demonstrate first. I'm doing a long hold here, and I've opened up a uh, full screen mode. I'm doing a double click, and uh, well, okay, double click is opening up a specific artist pad, single click. It's opening up a different artist pad, and I'll go over how to do that in a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and go back to the correct one. And we'll minimize that, and I'm going to show you a couple different things inside the layout editor. So uh, what I'm most excited about, and, and what took us the most time to figure out, is why these buttons didn't work the way that we wanted them to. Uh, as it turns out, the touch interaction needed a uh, down state added with a delay in there and it doesn't really matter uh, technically what <clears throat> what needed to be fixed but we added called uh, something called plus one second and this is a down state for the button so it just means that you have one second from the time that you tap the button to interact with the pen to get the desired result uh, now in practice this is working with about 95 percent of the things that we wanted to fix so this is great the second thing that we added is the ability to toggle. So you can tap that and this will turn on until you tap it again. I'm sure most of you are familiar with how toggles work. All right, so that is new. Uh, there is an addition to that and those features. Uh, we've added the ability to switch in between sizes of the artist pad. Now here, when this resizing this whole window is, is kind of messy, but if you are in full screen mode and you tap over or tap back, uh, it works nice and smooth and doesn't, it's not quite so jittery and jumpy. All right, so the large one is, is now basically a full keyboard. In the center here, if you guys can see it, is a direction, I would call it a wheel, but it's square, but it has enter key in the middle. Uh, this is for when you're manipulating layers and uh, you you draw something, and let's go ahead and select that something, and we have to switch tools, and we want to move it. You can go ahead and see that we can move that and, and do that, and then commit any changes. So if we wanted to bring this up and then commit those changes, you can press enter right there in the center. Uh, but it works fairly well. I'm playing around with this setup, and I want to make this available as a default inside a Tablet Pro, not even community assets. I mean, also community assets, but but mainly the default. Uh, so you can load that uh, with the software when it comes without having to go to a web page. All right, so uh, let's see. As far as other things, uh, you no longer need to toggle on... Well, let's go ahead and I'll just show you this. In the artist pad mode, you no longer need to have these toggled on if you're using the anniversary update. They made some changes, and well, this is a Surface Pro 4 uh, that I'm using right now. And with the Ntrig devices, I'm not sure with Wacom, um, but I believe those two work well without these toggled on. And it, it, there's a small bug where the key presses double press when these are turned on. They still work if you have it another device that's not updated yet to the newest version of Windows. Uh, all that said, don't turn them on. 
Uh, I have disabled toggle control alt shift turned off so that toggle control shift alt is on. That's a little confusing. But that uh, allows me to have single buttons do uh, single buttons toggle like the modifiers toggle uh, and other ones not. I like shift in Photoshop. I like shift being a toggle and I like control not being a toggle. But let me show you real quickly how to do that. Uh, I right, so just hit control. You'll notice control is a blank key and also you'll notice a uh, small, medium, and large art pad here. That button, that's what's down here. So if you select blank, here you'll see that I have control and plus one second, second uh, selected for control. And that's going to give me that function that wasn't working before. So uh, that's pretty much everything. The last thing I wanted to go over is how to get this interaction here. All right, so let's go through that uh, quickly. So uh, I swiped over, I chose settings. Here I can expand that so you can see that settings. And I'm going to go to devices, pen and Windows ink, and you can just search in the Cortana search bar and find it real quickly. Pen shortcuts. Uh, so what I did is I chose classic app and show a preset. This is the name of the app. What it actually is, it's just a shortcut. And that shortcut has some very specific information in it. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that. All right, so this first part, this is a path to where Touch Mouse Pointer EXE is installed on the computer, uh, which is program files, Touch Mouse Pointer, Touch Mouse Pointer dot EXE. Then there's instructions, show, slash, is space, slash, show, space, slash, artist pad, space, medium, space, slash, layout, and then the path to the layout file. New shortcut. Browse. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let's just put this shortcut on the desktop. Okay. Desktop. Um, you can change that to whatever you want. The function to be as easy is usually the best way to do it. Okay, so here's our desktop shortcut, which can be found, which can be found by right-clicking, choosing properties. If you go to the uh, security tab up here at the top, this is going to be the path, and you can actually uh, select that whole thing, copy it, and then just paste it right here. See, slash program files, touch pointer, slash preset, crita.ini. All right, so that is going to let us open up this specific file. Uh, show can be switched to hide. Artist pad dash medium can be switched to large, small, and layout you can't switch. Uh, this also, artist pad can be switched to full screen. I don't know if it can do some of the other modes like uh, float. Uh, you're welcome to try it and let me know if that works. Uh, but that's how you get that to open. If you just want to show artist pad, uh, and it, you don't care if it's medium, it's just whatever the default is, you can stop with the shortcut just like that. I'll make these shortcuts uh, available to you. These are already in the community assets folder. All right, so this is a different path. You can see it's a very long path uh, going to PS 4.5 beta to i9. But it's the same type of thing here. And let me show you just one more. See. So this one is showing the full screen, and you can see slash full screen slash show. If you wanted a button to go to hide, you would make a different shortcut with this path right here. You make a different shortcut with this path right here, and it says slash space slash full screen space slash hide. So if you wanted hide and show a uh, single tap to be show and double tap to hide it, you could do that and then hold in order to get it to uh, switch to full screen mode or something like that. And that works fairly well. All right, so you create that shortcut, then you right click, and then you just put where it says target, you're just gonna put this information, make sure you grab the whole thing. So we'll have this set up in the 
uh, default folder of Tablet Pro. We'll put those shortcuts in there for you guys to get them if uh, they're not in there yet, if you are watching this video uh, within a day or two of it coming out then you're going to want to find these in the community assets folder and uh, if you don't have that link i'll make that uh, available to you all right guys until next time stay creative